Hi, we are Anja and Luca, the founders and only employees of Monaco's Distillery. Monaco's Distillery is a craft distillery focused on fine spirits made from local herbs, botanicals and biological fruit. Four years ago I tried Monkey 47 Gin and I found it really nice and interesting. It was for me something different because it has uh, an aroma like a perfume. So I started digging, investigating uh, and found out that uh, they use juniper uh, berries from Croatia and this got to me. I was completely uh, surprised by that and uh, the idea of making gin in Croatia was just the next thing I wanted to do. The moment I, I found out how gin is made, I picked some local botanicals. I bu bought some botanicals and uh, I was playing around at my still uh, in Zagreb. The still was four liters and it was really nice to experiment. It was fun for some time to experiment in our own uh, kitchen uh, on our terrace in Zagreb. Luca cooked gin. We macerated uh, spices and botanicals and the entire house smelled like potions lab. And our friends and family enjoyed the little experiments that we made. We wanted to learn distilling before we start our small distillery uh, from the masters. I obviously wanted to learn from Christoph, the biggest uh, legend uh, in distilling. When I asked him if I could be his apprentice, unfortunately he couldn't do it because uh, he was retired. But fortunately his uh, last student, Hiroshi Higuchi from Japan, uh, started his distillery in Japan and we were so surprised when we see what he was doing. I immediately contacted him and we were fortunate enough that we could uh, spend a month in Mitosaya, his distillery in Japan and learned everything from fermenting, uh, foraging, uh, distilling, packaging. Macerations, names and tastes of uh, botanicals and fruit we never even heard about. We learned how basically you can make spirits from everything that is edible. Hiroshi uses uh, flowers, uh, petals, uh, branches, leaves from the plants we never even thought to use, such as cinnamon leaves, fennel or wasabi. Mitosaya is uh, located near Tokyo and it is in an old botanical garden right, right next to the forest. So we were sleeping in our uh, wooden shed uh, between their house and distillery. And uh, we spent the, the day from morning to, to evening uh, working with them and uh, figuring stuff out. It was an amazing experience. Uh, we were so impressed by uh, everything uh, Hiroshi Eguchi and Yuko Yamamoto do at Mitosaya. With their creativity, with their willingness to experiment, with the beautiful toned down aesthetic which is intertwined with everything that they do and we wanted to learn from them. After a month in Mitosaya, we were really sure we wanted to open a distillery and we were so anxious to come back home and start using all these incredible botanicals that, that grow in this region. In that time we lived in Zagreb, but Svako slobodno vrijeme smo provodili ovdje i kako smo sve više vremena tu bili, tako nam se sve više sviđa, sviđao način života ovdje u odnosu na Zagreb. I počeli smo razmišljati kako da se za stalno preselimo ovdje. Sviđala nam se klima, sviđalo nam se to mnoštvo mediteranskog bilja koja raste kao korov ovdje a koje se može koristiti u destileriji. Htjeli smo se baviti nečim što je kreativno, htjeli smo imati svoj proizvod. U današnje doba u kojem je sve digitalno, svi poslovi se rade na kompjuteru, mi smo htjeli napraviti nešto što bi nas više povezalo s prirodom i dalo nam veću slobodu i kreativnost u svakodnevnom radu. Remontura je okružena biljkama i aromatičnim 
biljkama koje rastu ko korov. Znači, kadulja, smilje, crvena borovica, unutrašnjost Istre, plava borovica. Baš je kraj fenomenalan za radit džin. Jako zahvalno. Čim krenete negdje, odmah se nađe neka začinska biljka. Monacus monacus je latinski naziv za sredozemnu medvjedicu, koja je jedna od najugroženijih sisavaca na svijetu. A jedna jedinka je prije par godina živjela baš ovdje u okolici Premanture i Pule. I mi smo imali tu sreću da smo i u jednom prilikom vidjeli u divljini tijekom zimske šetnje i tad smo je fotografirali. Bilo nam je to stvarno predivno iskustvo. I tako kad je došlo do odabira imena naše destilerije i brenda, smo htjeli Htjeli smo neko ime koje je vezano za ovu lokaciju, a i koje bi ukazivalo na našu želju za očuvanjem okoliša i koje bi malo podiglo svijest. Jako nam je bitno da u proizvodnji nemamo plastiku, pogotovo single use plastiku, a kod pakiranja proizvoda isto nemamo plastiku. Mislimo da je to jako bitno, sitni koraci su bitni, broje se i naravno voljeli bi Želimo da svako ko pije naša pića, ali i ostala pića, da ih pije bez slamke, da ih ne pije u plastičnoj čaši, nema potreba za tim. Staklo je puno elegantnije. We wanted to make a Mediterranean style gin that represented our location and the plants that grow in it. And we also wanted to achieve the maximum flavor with the least ingredients. I did play around with around maybe 12 botanicals at one point, but then I started reducing, reducing to five, uh, because adding simplicity is really complex. <laughs> <laughs> Gin is definitely not the only thing we make. Uh, we make other fine spirits. So we have uh, Coretto, which is coffee and anise distillate. People usually are quite surprised when they hear about it, but once they try it, they, they love it. The other spirit we have is Mandarin Eau de Vie. It's called First Citrus, and it's a fermentation of the Mandarin, the Croatian fruit that's uh, from Japan, but uh, grown in Croatia for around 50 years. Our distillery is based on local products and we want uh, to use everything that we can around us. Especially if we find some biological fruit or wild berries, we always want to experiment. Our gin is made uh, by macerating the five ingredients, the five botanicals in alcohol. We macerate each ingredient separately, so five different barrels. Uh, after uh, some time we distill each ingredient uh, separately and let them rest in uh, glass barrels. After this, we mix it uh, according to our recipe and also let it rest a while and then gin is ready for bottling. The base ingredient used in, in every gin is juniper, obviously, but we also used coriander seeds, which um, give quite a good balance uh, to, to gin uh, with juniper. Uh, we use fresh mandarin peel, fresh, uh, Immortel and uh, fig leaves, also fresh. Sada ponovo to na hrvatsku. Borovica, sjemenke koriandera, smokvin list, uh, smilje i svježa, svježa kora mandarine. Why is your gin cloudy? Because it has so much essential oils that uh, they start to be visible once the drink is diluted or when it's cold. Uh, cloudy gin is quite a thing now in the distilling community because uh, basically it's uh, it's a sign of quality. The botanicals that we use uh, are mostly from our surroundings. They are either bought from herbalists and foragers or some of them we pick ourselves. Our products are handcrafted at each step of their production from uh, the botanicals that we forage ourselves or uh, the fruit uh, that we peel by hand, uh, of course, uh, the maceration, the distilling, but then also bottling. We hand stamp uh, each label by hand. We apply each label by hand. So the, the entire product is a product of our hands. Uh, the labels and the entire visual identity is made by 
Bedo Studio from Stockholm. They made uh, our symbol, the Monacus, the Mediterranean monk seal, which is at the heart of our branding. Uh, they also made uh, typography and uh, different shapes of labels. Bura. <laughs> Bura, Shisharka, Sol, Val and Oblutak. Bura, the, no the northern wind, pine cone, salt crystal, wave and the pebble. Pizza <laughs> <laughs> Opremu smo uzeli kraj Samobora. Želimo sve imati hrvatsko što se može imati hrvatsko. Tako da smo otišli u Rude u jedno malo mjesto koje ima nekoliko kuća od kojih nekoliko obitelji radi kotlove već generacijama. A Tomislav iz Prokova i njegov tim su nam napravili kotlo. Ovaj lijepi, sve za nas pomjeri, napravili su nam bačve. Kupili smo staklene bačve u, u puli, u tvornici stakla. Thanks for listening to our story. Uh, we hope you try our gin and other spirits soon. Uh, visit us when you're in Premantura or nearby. Please enjoy your drinks, uh, especially the gin tonic without a straw. Uh, you don't need it. Believe me, you don't need it. <laughs> <laughs> and drink responsibly. And I found it. Oh, Nishta's one. <laughs> <laughs>